Hello and welcome to the Adam Vale YouTube channel. Right in this real quick video, I'm going to try to make a chocolate twist cheaper than they sell them in the shop. Now the cheapest I've seen these was the co-op because they do one of these member deals for about 90 pence. So can I do it cheaper than 90 pence? I think I can. Now these are the ingredients. I've gone for the cheapest ingredients I could find to try to make this the cheapest chocolate twist in the world. So the ingredients are obviously chocolate drops. I've got these in Tesco's at 65p. Custard, I've gone for the cheap O Tesco custard, 55p. And then you need two packets of puff pastry, one, two, they was £1.10p each in Tesco's. That's a grand total of about £3.40, I believe. I used the calculator, I'm sure it come up to £3.40. So I've got to beat £3.40. Now, a good money saving tip if you want to make these chocolate twists even more valuable, make them thinner. But I don't want them too thin so they're not worth it. I want to try to do them the same size as they sell in the shop. Chocolate twists, a nice tasty snack that I've never made, but we're going to make it. We'll put the camera over there. We'll just make a make a chocolate twist. Let's go make it. So here we go. We've got this on the baking tray. Just want to say, if you can hear a lot of wind noise in the background, it's almost a almost like a gale force hurricane outside. Changed into winter from summer to winter, just like that. Last week we were sweating hot. This week, windy, rainy, horrible. Right, a few bits, optional, extra. Need one of these. You want to brush it with a bit of milk or something after. If you ain't got one of them, you shouldn't have a kitchen. And also to cut it up, you're gonna to want to. This is probably the best thing to cut it up. Pizza slicer thing. If you ain't got one of them again, you shouldn't have a kitchen. So right, there we go. Oh, and there's the milk. I'm gonna put egg, a little milk wash on mine, not egg, milk. We've got our um, first sheet of puff pastry laid down. Use the uh, paper that come with it, greaseproof paper that come with it. Spoon, custard. Now I was worried this Tesco custard weren't gonna be that thick, but it's quite thick. I thought it was really gonna be watery, but that's not bad. So I'm gonna put a custard on it. Look at this. Look at this that you can make for Cheap, cheap, cheap. Want a bit more custard than that. We ain't going to be stingy with our one. We ain't being stingy at all. Now this custard's going to give it that sweetness inside it. La, 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 la. You can sing to yourself while you're making it. And this custard is quite a dark. Like you, if you bought like a ambrosia one of these or something, it's going to be a lot more yellowy. A lot more creamy looking, but this is going to be absolutely fine. And I think that is going to be enough there. I want to get right to the ends, just like that. That do. It's quite orangey colour that custard, isn't it? But that also, if you want to do work out money exact, there's about three quarters, well, well, no, two thirds of a tin left there. You could use that, obviously. Carry on using that. Chocolate chips. Probably the, the main ingredient because it's called a chocolate twist. These are going to go on. Again, don't be too stingy. You buy them in the shop nowadays, you get one or two chocolate chip. We want to we wanna taste the chocolate chip. Now you could mix this up if you've got white chocolate chips. You could put some, tea would go nice in this, pecan nuts. We've got some pecan nuts up here. I'm not going to. These pecan nuts, these would be also nice in this. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're just going to keep it simple. I think we need a few more. Just here. Just like this. Just like this. Like this. Just like this. So I think that's, I think that's a decent amount. Again, if you're working out money exact, we've still got, I don't know, some of them left there. We can make a cake with uh, a later date. Now we're going to get the second sheet and just lay it on top. Don't need a bit of greaseproof paper for this. Line it up. It don't matter if you're a little bit off, which I ain't, I was spot on. So there we go, that is all lined up. That's on top, we're gonna get our, I just need to work out the size here. I'm thinking what about, about 
about there because remember you're going to twist it I'm thinking about there so I'm going to mark there mark there mark there so that's one two three one two three and there so we've got one two three four five so we're going to have six of these that ain't bad so I'm going to I'm going to cut these up I'm going to spin this towards me to make it easier on myself just get your pizza roller straight across now that first one's going to be mine it's going to be a bigger than that one like that like that like that just like that just like that so as you can see because that's the end bit it is a bit longer i could trim it off if i wanted to or just gonna have a bigger one one two three four five six now to twist it the twist it this is the most tricky part of this bike so sometimes with this you just want to make sure well i say sometimes with this i've never made this before just want to make sure the ends have ripped as well or you're gonna have a nightmare in twisting this if them ends are still stuck together you end up pulling three over instead of one so we can just break them in bits just like this now when you put this in the oven there's going to be no time and given just pull it in until it's golden and crispy don't pull it out fair head make sure it's golden and crispy it will taste better so i'm just going to for demonstration i'm going to start with this middle one here now, i think the hardest bit is a twist because it's going to some of it's going to fall out we're, we're going to do that I think we're just going to do that there. And I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but this is how I'm doing it. So I've twisted the top and the bottom. Now I think that's come out all right. There you go. Now that's a twist. So what I did, twisted the bottom and twisted the top the other way. So one went one way, one went the other. Just like that. Perfect. Just like that. The other one, the other way. Oven wise, I'm going to put this on about 180. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Last one. This is the big one. This is this is my one. Just like that. This one's going to be a whopper. This one at the end is going to be a whopper. Just like that. Because that was the end bit. And there we go. I didn't measure anything out. I didn't get a ruler to weigh these out. So they're all the same. Space them out a little bit. You don't want them, you want them a, little, a little bit of space between each other. It's going to all come together. Puff up nicely. Bit of this uh, milk wash. So we can crisp that up even more. And that really wasn't hard. Now while I'm away, while this is cooking, I'm going to work out how much this costs. Or you can just divide £3.40 in six. I can't do that off the top of my head. Look at this. Look at this. Nice bit of egg wash on that. There we go. No cuts in the filming. Nothing like you see on telly where they cut bits out and you're thinking, oh, God, how did they do that bit? Look how easy and simple I've done that. Right, these are going in the oven. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. About 180. I'm saying if you if you want a if you want a timer, it's going to be about 15, 20 minutes. But I'm just going to keep checking them. Try to twist. Back in a minute. And there we go. Look at them size of them as well. Now this one did obviously got a little bit caught. The chocolate's burnt. We don't care about that. That would be actually quite nice. That bit. That's just a bit of burnt chocolate. But the size of them, you don't get them, and they are well cooked. You don't get them like that out of these shops. Now there's a little bit of a, a creme de la pap. I'm gonna give them just a little dusting. If you ain't got icing sugar or one of these things, you shouldn't have a kitchen. Just gonna give these a little, a little coating of this. Just to give it that little, creme de la pap and also if you get bits like this you can cover it over and no one will know but you want them cooked nicely that's going to be crispy pastry these are really hot at the moment like lava bit of this on here look at this a bit of a bit of icing sugar make it look like it's snowing on them 
just like that. Now these are going to be better, I can tell already, than any shop one, bought one you've ever had in your life. And they're going to be cheaper. A lot cheaper. Well, half price. I'm saying half price. There we go, just like that. Look at them. Fantastic. And here we go, before you all jump in the comments, 56p each, I believe, 50, I think it's 56.6p each. Okay. Sun's come out, it's windy, the weather's terrible. And as you saw, I put a bit of, just a dust in the vice and shit. Look at them. You don't get them this big from the shop. Look at it. So let's taste one of these. Look at them. Like I said, they, these are a bit like lava. They ain't been out, they've been out a couple of minutes. You obviously want to let them sit for a little bit. These are massive, absolutely they're lightweight as well. I've picked up this one that did get get a little bit caught at the end, so I'll have that one. But the size of it, it's lightweight. That's gonna have chocolate inside. It's got custard inside. That I think that's the best bit of puff pastry cooking. Look at the colour of it. Look at it on the bottom as well. That looks fantastic. Now, if we were, like I said, that one's a little bit, little bit burnt. But if we look at another one. Look at the colouring on this. It's like a French stick. Look at the bottom. It's a you know what? Sometimes I underrate my cooking skills or baking skills. I've learned everything from the wife, obviously. Let's have a bite of this. Fantastic. Mm. It's almost bringing tears to my eyes, this. I just wanted to break it open. I've done it over the sink, just so we can see that chocolate inside. I probably, could have gone for a bit more chocolate. If I've got, I didn't know that was gonna come out this big. Probably could have used that whole bag of chocolate drops. A little bit of chocolate would have been nice, but that's the custard there. That's the chocolate. Look at this. For 56p each. Or, you go to one of these shops and you pay a quid each. And that's smaller. And nowhere near as nice. This is a different, this is a different level. It's a different level to the ones you can buy in a shop. Different level completely. 56p. Right. Fantastic. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to go and clean up another three of these. Mm.